Hello everybody, my name is Chris Gregory. I'm from Heartland Horseshoe School in Lamar, Missouri. My son Cody. I'm Cody Gregory. Uh, we're here in my shop at Cody Gregory LLC. Uh, we're here we're going to do some pro tips and this is Jake Krauss. Local shopper at. That's me. <laughs> to do a toe bend, I'm going to grab a hold of the piece of steel with three points of contact. My tong, my tong, and my boss. I'm going to bring the center punch towards me, put about three quarter of an inch pass into my tong, three quarter of an inch pass into the anvil, and I'm going to hit on my one training wheel, then my other training wheel, then my one training wheel, then my other training wheel. And I tend to flatten the bunch while I'm doing my toe bend, and that's to make sure it's coming in center. My toe bend's coming just a little bit off center towards me, so I'm just going to hit down more than I hit back this time. So whenever I look at it there, it's coming under a little bit to the outside, so I'm just going to hammer back and not down, and that allows me to keep that toe bend in center. The very first thing I do after I crack my toe is I'm going to seat it out. To seat it out, I want to hit in line with my bar stock. I'm going to tilt my hammer just slightly towards the inside of the stock. And I'm just going to drop my hand, overlap the hammer blow, and move the piece underneath my hammer. When we're hitting the inside edge of a shoe, we want to make sure we bring it around past 90. Whatever angle you get it bent to at this point is the angle it wants to stay. You have to work hard to change it from this angle as you do your toe bend. You want to be consistent with what you do. I like to set my outside toe first. I'm going to start with center on center. Whenever you're bending, you want to point your tongs in the direction the steel is going to push into them. So center on center, my tongs are in home base position. I'm going to hit beyond and I'm just going to drop my left hand. Keep dropping my left hand, drop my left hand, drop my left hand. If we look at this right now, you can see how I have bend past my training wheel mark right here. That's intentional so that the inertia allows us to bend it right where we want. So I'm going to drop my hand, drop my hand, training wheel gets on top of the horn. I'm going to hit it on until we kiss the anvil. Definition of a good toe bend is uh, arc from training wheel to training wheel and everything behind that is straight. So we're going to hold it on the long arc of the anvil and we're going to straighten to our training wheel. Instant replay. Step number one. Center on center. Hit me on. Drop our left hand, drop our left hand, drop our left hand. Training wheel on top of the horn. Hit me on. That sets it. If we didn't have that arc right at the training wheel, we would have ended up with a speed bump there. So now we'll hold it on the long arc and we're going to straighten it out. So we took care of the arc from training wheel to training wheel. Now we're taking care of everything straight from training wheel to that. And I'm just going to lift up and straighten until we get to our training wheel. Anytime that you're looking at shoes, hold them square on the anvil. Use your anvil to your advantage. This anvil is full of T-squares. It's a square piece. So we're going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to line my training wheels up at the far edge of the anvil. And I'm going to look, does the angle of those branches come out equally? Is this triangle there? And that triangle there, this one here, and this one here, are they the same shape? All of that tells me a lot about if my toe bend is square or not. But you have to get in the habit of holding your shoe square on the anvil every time. That tells you a lie. So use your training wheels to tell you that you're square on the anvil.